Welcome to the Empire Brothers Rampant, welcome to a new campaign that I'm going to be starting today with Archeon the Ever Chosen. Where this, I am very excited for this campaign, this is going to be a lot of fun I think, because I'm going to be going for the main idea behind this campaign. Is I'm making sure I confederate every single one of the Chaos Warriors, and then we are going to burn the world and get a domination victory. I think this will be great, I think this is going to be a lot of fun, and uh, I know, this actually reminds me of a campaign I did in the past, which I'm kind of taking some references to that on how I'm going to be playing this, but I think this should be kind of fun. Let me know down below if you guys have, uh, like, what you're thinking about this campaign. I'm hoping you guys will enjoy this one. I think this one should be great. Um, and I know one thing I'm going to be doing that I've done in some of my previous campaigns that I think will be very fun to do in this one is uh, having unique names for units. If you guys have any suggestions for those, feel free to let me know down below. As uh, I already have a couple listed from people on my Discord giving me names for units. Uh, monsters, I'll rename them instantly. Units have to specifically, I want them to get to rank 7 before I'm like, okay, you now deserve a name. And then we'll kind of keep track about how those guys go uh, as we continue doing the campaign. But our boy Archeon here is going to start pushing on in to start conquering the world. So our main goal, again, this is how I want to go about this. I want to subjugate all of Chaos before I start giving a shit about the Order Factions. That's my first thought process. And the way I'm going to go about that is, I think first and foremost, I want to first say, I would say Col Sun Eater, Colic, uh, Colic Sun Eater, he's the first target. He's the closest to me. Probably the easiest for me to confederate early on. If I let him get really strong, he'll be a very big issue. So we're going to want to make sure we go for Kolik first. And since we're going to be going that direction, let's go get Village after that. Then we can possibly have it so... I let, I let Archeon do his thing. There we go. He's did, did his little intro. Um, but yeah, no, so we'll have it so we go for, because uh, Kolik's like around here, Village is over here, um, Festus is down here. Festus is the weird one. Um, Azazel's right around here. Um, then we have... I can't confederate the Demon Prince, but I can confederate Balakor. Balakor's way over here. Um, then there's also... Let's see. Prince Sigvald's like around here. And then we had Valkia way over here. I'm worried about Valkia. I'm worried about us not being able to get to Valkia in time. But we're going to be making sure that we try and push as hard as we can, as quickly as we can. So let's make sure... Okay, so first and foremost, let's put my agent into Archeon's army. Archeon, I'm going to make sure he is purely undivided. That's how I view his army. I really like the idea of him eventually having a bunch of Chosen, a bunch of Chaos Knights, and like one of each greater demon is basically roughly what his endgame army is going to be. Uh, Research-wise, let's try and do that first. So, we only have our one line. I want to make sure, so we're just, we only have the one thing first, is giving them the research to Marauders. I do want to make sure we can get the, um, I really want to make sure we're able to get some of the champions, the aspiring champions, because I love how you can boost them so goddamn much and give them so many boosts. So we'll start off just getting the basic additional re uh, ex unit experience for my units. We want to make sure that we can basically kind of grow them as quickly as possible. Excellent. And then, okay, on here, we've got a fight here with the initial yeah, demons yeah. in front of us. Let's fight these guys, uh, fight this the exquisite pain, Hell, rip, deal with you guys first. I know for myself... I'm probably going to have it so that I know Archeon is a bit of a, he's a half caster kind of. He has a little bit of casting abilities. He has a little bit of melee abilities. And I'm primarily going to push him towards primarily ca uh, melee. Um, and ideally, because I want to make sure that we can federate all of the other forces of chaos first, all the chaos warriors first. I'm going to make sure that we try and get him those traits. He has to be the one to defeat them in single combat and then add them into my faction. That's kind of the idea. And I'll probably have it so like, like once we get Kolik into our uh, into our works, I'll have him start building up his own forces to start raiding and harassing areas. And um, basically, Arcan has to defeat all of Chaos before I feel like we're ready to properly start going after uh, the forces of, a, uh, of an order. Um, now, let's first and foremost have it so you guys are going to be up in front, or kind of behind. I, I always kind of like having it so that I actually did this in my, uh, it was the beginning of the end times mod for Medieval 2. Uh, I would always have the Marauders in front, and then I'd have it so that uh, Chaos Warriors are backing them up. 
Let's have like the uh, monstrosities back over here. And then start to battle, start deployment, and start making our way forward. I also want to make sure that I don't do this as often as I really probably should. I want to make sure I get to showcase more cinematic shots of just badassery of us walking on forward. Primarily just because I love making my little intros. I, I think the intro I made for this campaign is by far my favorite one so far. Because honestly, I don't know if you guys know how much I love metal and the idea of Archeon charging the fuck in when the, the metal starts to hit. Mm, that hits different for me. I am hoping you guys enjoyed that intro. I'm hoping you guys did at least. Alrighty, let's get everybody to start moving in a little bit closer. Archeon, let's get you up here. I don't think you can't body a fucking uh, uh, greater demon yourself just yet. So we're going to have to hold off on that. But let's get the Marauders. You're kind of my fodder. Get you guys closer. You guys actually want to try and see if you can uh, hold there for a second. Try and brace that charge from you guys. And then we need to have you guys try and flank around there a little bit. Try and counter charge them. Got my uh, Abominations rushing on in. Let's get my Zinch Cav over here. Also, I'm... I don't want the house Hellstar Scourges all that much. I don't really like them all that much. Let's have uh, Arcan at least kind of cast some spells onto you guys initially. And you need to get over here and help out. Because you're Halberds. You've got some anti-large initially. You'll be pretty good to send at them. Let's see. Hero, you're supposed to be getting in here as well. Rush on in there. Start trying to help against this unit. Let's actually have these guys pull back. Try and have my hero take over this fight for right now. Cast Warriors, doing some good damage to these sinless, uh, uh, demonets. Archeon, also have to have you keep spamming abilities over here against this, uh, greater demon. Marauder's actually doing well. You guys are doing okay here. Um, let's have you try and get around the backside. Although, technically, they're surrounding him. I don't know what's going to be the backside, but charge in. Get a proper charge there. That's a much better damage. Far better. Archeon also does have his nice AoE spell. Honestly... One of the spells I, I will upgrade for him, Searing Doom. Searing Doom is a very good basic spell. I will probably always keep upgrading for him, but for the most part, he'll still be primarily a melee lord, I would say. Because he's got some good spell casting, at least with Searing Doom and some of the other spells he can get access to. But honestly, he has so many good abilities that he can get upgraded, I don't want to waste all of his stuff on um, spells. Like, there are some lords definitely put most of their points into spells, but Archeon, especially with the armor he can get, he can get really beefy eventually. But now we're just waiting on the Greater Demon to die. They're at about half health. My Corn Halberds should be able to do some good work against them with their anti-large. This army will be dead, and then we just have to go try and take the, um, the Dark Fortress after this. Which, hopefully we haven't taken too much damage, that won't be too bad. I already know. Um, one of the names that was suggested to give to my units was uh, the Blood Wardens. And this is supposed to be for corn, obviously. Um, those Halberds, I'm probably going to give them that name immediately. I actually think I'm going to have it so maybe it has to be just get to Silver Veterancy, at least for the Chaos Warriors. I think that makes sense um, before I decide to start giving out names. Because I love giving out names and kind of seeing how, how, how long we've had a unit fight for us. As I keep track of usually the unit and then like how many times I've like remade the unit. And I know I had a lot of fun with that in my uh, uh, Carl Franz campaign. And uh, I, I think it'll be really fun to do with Archeon and just the Chaos Warriors in general. Especially since a whole thing about Chaos is basically building up your own glory in to get uh, the um, attention of the gods. Um, well, let's take the extra replenishment. We actually did take quite a bit of damage there. And then I got a pendant there. Let's see. So also, I don't know why this didn't prop up originally, but hey, war host of the apocalypse. We collect souls. We uh, erect dark fortresses across the north, and we vassalize local tribes. Also, that's the whole thing. I am vassalizing everybody, or I'm burning everybody. Everybody is going to bow down before um, Archeon. I almost said Sauron, but Archeon. And then we can have our, our units be upgraded into um, stronger variants. So we got that. <sighs> that just gives leadership. That's not the worst, I guess. I don't know why we unlocked my regiment around so early, but I will gladly take that. Um, I can't do that right now. I'd have to go into encampment stance to grab it. Um, but let's have it. So Archeon, initially, let's grab you. I'll give you the more movement range, I'd probably say. Also, I really am going to want this for sure. I'm definitely going to want a lot of experience per turn. Vigor loss per, for the army is going to be nice. But yeah, we have so much stuff here. And I don't have enough points to get everything I want. So basically, I'll probably be going down the blue line first. Um, get him that full filled out. Then we'll go down his personal line at the end. 
After that, I'm going to make sure we get Aspiring Presence probably next level up after that. My hero here, I want you to get uh, training initially, especially want to make sure we have somebody training to get as much um, experience for my units as possible. But now, let's see, so the Writhing Fortress only has 8 units initially. I can instantly recruit uh, some stuff at least here. So let's first siege it, then we'll start at least gathering some stuff. So let's continue the siege for just a second. And now let's have you grab the Warband and the um, Chaos Warhounds that we have around here since they start out instantly. So we can do that. And then I I, I think I'll once, if you can get up to a Silver Shed ve uh, Veterancy, that's when I'll actually decide to give you your uh, name. But let's push on in here. Um, I should be able to do this. I'm going to give the leadership bonus to one of the Marauders, I guess. I, I don't like this one. It's not one of the ones that I like all that much, but let's push on in here. This is going to have walls for us initially that we'll have to push on into. Depending on what the layout is, this shouldn't be that bad, um, especially given the fact that I've got RK. Okay, so it's this layout. So this layout here, if I remember correctly, the side I always like to attack for this one is usually here. Because I can kind of get, yeah, if I focus on like this spot over here, these two towers are about the only ones that can shoot me. So we can kind of push my way in. I'll have RK on my hero, definitely push on in, hit the gates. And then I'll have it so my Chaos Warriors... I think I'm going to put my Chaos Warriors to try and rush up onto the walls. Because if they have men on the walls, uh, my Chaos Warriors versus a bunch of Marauders, I think, will be fine. They should absolutely slaughter them. I do love... I, I have always really liked Archeon's uh, passive abilities that he gives to his units. And the increased weapon damage um, per rank that you have is really nice. So it's like uh, max rank Chevron units have like 27% more weapon damage, which is pretty damn nice, actually. Um, but yeah, I don't want to be here. These towers can shoot me, so I don't want to be there. Um, over here, not bad, because then it's basically just maybe these two towers at most. So we can have Archeon and my hero group up. Um, honestly, most of my armies are never going to be very defensive, so never do that. Um, Chaos Warriors. I'll actually have my, war, uh, my uh, Marauders. You're the fodder. You gotta prove yourselves to become Chaos Warriors. So you guys are going to be the ones that rush it up to the walls and the Chaos Warriors will follow behind you. My um, Cav units... Probably have you guys maybe see if I can open one of the gates with you guys and have you kind of flooded in. Same thing with the uh, Warhounds and the Abominations. So start the moment, start the battle, and then you guys make your way forward, and then my Chaos Warriors follow behind them. Archaon and my hero, let's have you guys try and go down for the gates. All of you guys push through the gates here, and it doesn't look like they have anybody over here, so I can try and get that gate. Oh, they've got the uh, they've got the really nice towers for them, so that's going to be great for us. You guys just unload on my units. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Well, you guys gotta prove yourselves. As long as you guys can prove yourselves, eventually you'll be able to be dedicated to gods and start actually being some uh, proper chaos warriors. We'll give you some armor eventually. I do love that the one that's being focused down hard is the one that has, uh, at the moment, the one that is trying his best. He's got the... I do love that the one that was targeted the most is the guy that has the leadership bonus, so I appreciate that. Let's get you guys to kind of run up here, because I want to make sure this guy doesn't die. Archaon and my hero, you're starting to push on through the gates now. You're start trying to break down the gates for us. You guys are now starting to get up onto the walls. Defeat these Suneshi Marauders for me. Let's see, you guys are up on the walls. I can get you to try and make your way up too. And over here as well. Start clearing those sections for us. Towers have stopped, at least for now. Um, I don't see any good blobs of units for me to try and cast magic into just yet. Um, I do see that you guys are... Well, you haven't turned the gates on just yet, so I think I can get over here to the gates before you turn the towers on. Okay, gates are down. I'm having so RK on my hero because you guys aren't mounted just yet. I'm going to get you up onto the walls here. Start having you help out with the uh, marauders over here because these guys are not doing the best. Um, at the moment, I'll have my abominations, um, my spawns, try and get over here. That unit was not in the way initially, so kind of pull back. Those uh, warhounds are not going to do well over there. You should be able to do something to the health striders there. The walls are almost broken over here, at least on this right side now. You guys have been able to break down the gates. Let's have you start trying to capture some points. So no, go around this way. Oh, actually, no, that point, point is uh, not closed off yet. So yeah, go capture that point there. Archeon and everybody, uh, the, those guys are now shaken. They're about to break soon. Um, let's see. You guys are doing well here against the Hellstriders. Do they have anti-large? 
Um, they do have anti launch there. They're losing though, right now. Um, I'm probably gonna have it so Arcan and my hero. Let's get you guys over here. I need help out over here. I think if anything, Arcan needs to get a little bit closer so he can just kind of start casting some spells on top of them. Searing Doom right around here. Kind of hit the uh, Hell Striders a little bit and also try and hit the uh, Captain a little bit there. Do some damage. There we go. Some really good damage on you guys. Okay. Marauders, you guys. Yeah, keep clearing up this section. Then I'll have you guys kind of keep pushing forward. You guys are just about to start capturing that point. Perfect. All right. We took this point. Let's have my uh, Cav. Let's have you guys keep focusing on these Hell Striders. Try and get to more points. Archaeon and my hero are almost here. So Archaeon's joining on in into the fray. My hero, I'll have you kind of go to the left side there. And then I'm going to have it. So we almost have some more casting here in a second. So you guys will be able to unload on them. These sections are almost fully cleared at this point in time. Get you to try and do another cast right here. How are you doing so far? 60 kills on Archeon. I would like to see that. That's... Got to be getting close to hitting army losses at this point. They've lost quite a bit. Uh, I'm about to lose the spawns of Nurgle. I don't necessarily care. I, prob yeah, okay. I probably should have tried to get them out of there. But I don't know. I've never liked the spawn units whatsoever. So I'm personally fine with us losing some of the spawns of Nurgle. I can easily replace them with something else. It's almost done there. You guys are winning against that Hellstrider unit. So that's almost done. Should have some casting here in a second. And once Archeon gets some more casting, these forces will start dying. Off to a pretty good start. Yeah, there you go. I think one more cast breaking all these guys should be it. Yep, immediately. As soon as I hit them with one more shot right there, they all broke. So there we go. So, I did lose my abomination, my uh, my spawns, but that's fine. It, I don't like spawns. I never have. So, we'll have it, so we'll just replace it with something else. Um, Arcan got a lot of kills. He got 200 kills. He, got, he killed a fourth of the army himself. Man, I can't wait until he's a little higher level. I can't wait for it. Arcan's always been one of my favorite legendary lords. He's one of the few legendary lords in, like, Warhammer 1 that I tried a legendary campaign with. And, uh... I don't think, because that, before then, he used to be able to get a dragon, if I remember correctly. I don't think he, he can't get that mount anymore. He only has his personal mount, uh, Dorgar, I believe it is. So that's the only mount he'll be able to get. Although it would be kind of fun to have Archeon be mounted, but him being this tiny little entity is actually a little bit uh, harder for other forces to deal with sometimes. Yeah, did lose the spawns, but that's okay. So we'll have it so um, I want to occupy and vassalize this, because then we'll vassalize the Norskins around us. And the only areas I specifically want to control are going to be areas that give me resources or are black fortresses. So the writhing fortress I want, um, I don't really care about that city. I'll just give it over to my vassals. A lot of stuff around here, same kind of deal. I don't really care. Um, so let's have it. So first and foremost, let's get the, uh, the growth and replenishment. And then we want to have it so after that... I can get the Marauder building, but I think that's usually where I want to have it, so... We usually put those into the smaller region areas, honestly, because for right now... Because that doesn't actually give me any Chaos Warriors, I have to get to this for that. Although, one of the things I want to get first is actually going to be a Sorcerer. I want to be able to get a Chaos Sorcerer into Archeon's army as soon as possible. So let's just grab that and just grab the money. So the Raid Trophies, grab that, and then Archeon here now. Doesn't have any more um, local recruitment for that. I do actually have a Hell Cannon as a gifted unit to start off with. Don't know why, but I'll take it. I'll gladly take one of those, and then I'm going to have it so we have some Regiments of Renown available to me. I'm gladly going to grab the Swords of Chaos. I definitely want to have a lot of Chaos Knights in my army, so grab those guys. And then Archeon has another rank up. So she got two points right now. So let's grab first, get the Experience per turn. We definitely want to get that. I'm then going to say... I almost want to max that out, but again, I think we should focus on his blue line first. I want to get the increased experience for units when fighting against forces of order. And then that also eventually also gives us more souls from battle too. So grab that. Then my hero. Let's have you grab a more melee attack just to make you a bit beefier. Okay, off. And now we just need to have it so gifts of cast. We can now finally do some of these. We only have the um, undivided ones first. So what I'm going to do is... I, I definitely like this one. Increased uh, replenishment rate for marauders. Gives them more melee attack and makes it so they get more experience. So let's definitely add that in for now. And I don't think there's any other gifts I want to grab for right now. Because we have um, we're, we have one vassal. 
So that'll give me, uh, it will probably uh, actually showcase next turn. Hey, you're getting 25 souls per turn. Basically, uh, next turn, I will have it so... Well, actually, let me first double-check this. Is there any quick deals I can randomly do? I don't really care about non-aggression pact with you. No, not really. I can technically offer a piece to you guys. Technically. And I'm almost tempted to. Because how much... Can I get some good money from you guys? I can get... I could get a little bit of money from them. Um, Because I don't want to push down that way. I might have it so... I do honestly kind of want to ignore that. I want to just go straight east. Get over to Kolik as soon as possible. So you know what? I'm going to offer that. I'm going to... I, you, I, almost every other time that I've played this campaign. I never do that. Um, I could, If I could vassalize you, I'd gladly do it. But it's a minus 14 there, so we can't get them to vassalize just yet. Just give me money. Just give me money. Um, and I think... I just just give me the money. I don't care. I'm I'm going to probably go to war with you at some point later on. But for right now, that's fine. I'm gonna go to peace with them. I don't want to go to this region. I will have it so. Um, I think my allies are still at war with them, right? My road is all. Uh, technically you're not. Technically you're not at war with them initially, but I can probably have it so I can convince you to go over there and attack them for me. Um, or actually, I should have had you join the war first. It's it's fine. We're not gonna worry too much about it. I just want to have it so that you will keep making your way down this way. We're going to start going toward the uh, Plains of Zenbaijin next. I'm going to try and get over here, because I know Kolik is, like, around here. I want to get to him as soon as possible and confederate his ass. The sooner the better. The sooner I confederate every single Chaos Lord, the better, because I do not want them to level up like fucking idiots. Yeah, so my allies are going to begin, begin constructing an outpost around in my area. That's fine, I'd say. I'll start having Archaeon start making your way down here. So we want to go straight for... Let's see. So I can probably just go straight for the Plains of Zion Bijan area immediately. I will want to control this area because that gives me timber. I don't remember what timber gives for the bonus, but I do love how every single one of the um, resources gives me some bonus. I will go... Yeah, go down this way. Well, it takes about the same amount of time. It takes the same amount of time to go to either one. So just keep making your way over this way. We'll get replenishment on our way. And I want to get more Chaos Marauder. I just want to get more Marauder units to fill out the roster. Uh, if I have to, I will grab the Warhound just so we have something in the armies. But that should be good there. You guys have finished that construction. I can't do anything else there now. And then I could maybe grab one more thing. One more. Uh, cost free for all undivided units and gives it more experience for undivided. I'm not opposed to that. Otherwise, I think for right now, I think it's fine to just have just this one active. Because we don't make a lot of souls right now, not until we start vassalizing even more people. Um, and I know there's like somebody around here that I'll have to vassalize first. And also, I do love the idea that because I'm going to be going for Kolek first, I'm actually going to have a ridiculous economy. Because I'll be able to... Kolek will be able to get... Because there's one here. I know there's another Dark Fortress over here. Um, being able to get three of those really early on will be really nice. Okay, so there are some Marauders. Um, and is it just this region technically that has them right now? Yeah, technically there's those ones there, and there's more Marauders here. So we'll want to grab these guys just before we exit this area, probably next turn. And then we can have it so that we'll grab some more just before we hit the Plains of Zimbaijin. Um, I don't know if the military presence is in this city or this city. I would kind of prefer if it's over here, because that would just make it a bit easier for us to take it next turn. Or not two turns. Okay, so there we go. We have now some more re uh, experience gained for my Marauders. I'm going to really appreciate that. Um, let's have you grab... Oh, perfect. There's some more. Also, I'm trying to remember. Can I... I can't remember if I can switch you guys back to um, just basic Marauders. Because I want you to be... I want to be undivided. So, let me see. So, Warband upgrades. Um, no, it does not allow me to go back to undivided after they have been dedicated. So... Your fodder, I don't care if you die. I'm not going to keep these Marauders uh, Marauders of Slanesh alive just because. Um, so let's kind of move up a little bit closer. See if I can get enough range to see. So there's a garrison there. Military presence is four. And I don't know if you're providing four or if you're just providing... Let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over here. Okay, so there is a bit more over here. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's grab some more guys. I want to focus primarily on the normal Marauders. I will grab the Warhounds, although if I go with the idea, I can just grab you guys and just, again, same idea. You'll be fodder. I don't care if you guys die. 
does kind of make me sad that, like, with this unit, well, I will just give you over to another unit eventually, because I know I'm going to have armies that are very uh, close to, dedicated to specific gods. So, I'll just have him go to a army for uh, corn. Uh, I don't care about that. Glacious points for vassalage with Skaven, Beastmen, and Norska. Wouldn't be bad for that. Um, although, I do want to just make sure we're just making, we gain as much experience for my troops. Also, lets me unlock the upgrades for Chosen, too. So I would probably say the Rite of Ascension first. Okay, and now I should have enough movement to get up to... Ah, oh, almost. Almost have enough movement. Um, I honestly think that I might just take this other city first. I can hit this one right now, declare war on them, and I might be able to get you guys to walk out of your city doing this. So let's declare war on you guys. I'll be able to very easily... I'm going to fight this myself, because I always like fighting battles early on, just to minimize casualties. Also, I might be trying to get some of the Marauders I don't want killed. <laughs> But we should be able to basically take practically no damage here. They are fighting us out the open field. I've got a lot of uh, Warhounds, some good Cav, and then I've got the uh, Hell Cannon right now. So we can basically just have it so Archeon... Also, I need to make sure Archeon does as much damage himself, because I want him to get as much experience as possible. Uh, he is going to be a fighting lord just all the damn time, because I need to make sure that he gets enough strength that I can actually deal with Colic Sun Eater easily enough. I am going to appreciate having this uh, Hell Cannon. This Hell Cannon early on, I think, against uh, Colic will be pretty useful to have for us. So, let's have it. So, again, all Marauders. Uh, well, actually, first, so you guys grouped up. Marauders first and foremost. You guys are just fodder. You get thrown in uh, the fight first. Chaos Warriors behind you. And then I'll have it so uh, all of you guys, since you have Vanguard deployment. Um, I can put you... I can definitely put you, well, let's see, I think back here, yeah, I can put you guys back here. Put you back there so you can flank, and then my, oh man, I didn't realize you had so few in this body. These ones have 60, and you only have 24, oh, that's painful. That's fine, though, I know you're a good unit, you're one of my regiments of renown, so go there. Cannon probably here, so you'd have a better line of sight. But, start the it, start the battle, and now let's move you guys all forward. I do just love the look of these guys making their way forward like this. With the artillery support uh, as well. Now let's see. So here are the Marauders of Nurgle again. I don't care if you guys die. I don't care if the Marauders of Slanesh die. I'm trying to make it so that we can get specifically more towards a... Oh, here they come. Here they come. Actually, I should make sure I just get you guys this. Because yeah, then you guys will just rush on in. Charge on in immediately. Go against the Nurglings. Gain glory. Uh, I need you guys to get more experience the sooner you can, the better. Uh, let's see, Archeon, uh, you guys actually make your way over here to help out with the Plague Bearers. Archeon, so you can start some casting, like, around here. Chaos Warriors, I think you can actually just kind of chill, honestly. Like, I think, honestly, like, once these Cav units get on in here and surround them in the back line, uh, that'll be the end of them. So my, uh, Chaos Knights, you can just go run down that one ca Warhound unit, don't need to really worry too much about them. Archeon here, you're going up against the, pl uh, the, uh, yeah, the Plague Bearers, so focus on them. All of my... You guys are ready, let's get you to charge on in here too. Across the board. Get a nice little view of this, this charge. All the Warhounds and the Hellstriders. Oh, that should instantly shatter you guys. If it doesn't, I will be absolutely surprised. That was a really good charge. You guys still holding? Uh, some of you are. The the forces I charged are all deleted. Absolutely deleted. So yeah, pull you guys back. Let's see. So, uh, Arca I can't want to call you Sauron. Um, yeah, keep focusing on the Plague Bearers there. Chaos Knights, I guess I can try and get you guys around. Because it's only the Plague Bearers now that are really mattering at this point. Let's we'll try and charge in there now, too. Trees are going to kind of get in the way a little bit. But I think that should do enough damage that you might... Oh, yeah, please don't shoot my own shit, please. Might finish them off now. I am kind of realizing, though, honestly, if I'm going to have some spell casting for Archeon, I kind of do want to upgrade his Spirit Leaf's ability, though, too. It's not a bad spell to use to single out wards. It really isn't, honestly. I, I just know I'm very limited on what points I have available to me. Um, although, I do wonder. So, with Archeon's um, personal line, I know he has something that gives him the demonic a trait. And I don't know how that trait works specifically. 
because it says, oh, hey, be usually that's a trait that's given to actual demons where it gives them more physical resistance and makes it so that they just will start trying to deteriorate if their leadership is too low. Archeon, I don't know if it actually gives him more physical resistance for that. If it does, I can understand wanting to take that trait. Otherwise, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure. Okay, this area, again, I want this one for me because this actually has the uh, material. So this has it so we can get more ammunition for my Marauder Horsemen and Horse Master units faction-wide. Every single one of these damn things I always want. I want to make sure we get every single resource ever because I find it hilarious the shit I can do with maxing that stuff out. So, Archeon here. Because I can have it so that, for sure... Because I know we're going to be going down this. We have to first for focus on the blue line. The main thing is, because, like, yeah, this one. It's the attribute demonic. Because this is the one that just... It just gives him... Has physical resistance, does not route, is immune to terror, causes damage when leadership is low. And I'm just wondering, does it give him more physical resistance? Because he already has 10% physical resistance. Does it give him more when he does that? Because I know his personal line, I'm going to want to get all of this. I may not need to upgrade this ability, so I could then put some of that into Spirit Leech. Because I would like to have it so that we upgrade Spirit Leech, upgrade Searing Doom, and that's about it we do for spellcasting for him, and then I want literally everything else for his personal line and his um, actual abilities to make him a stronger fighter. Um, I'm going to be going with more hard to hit for you initially. I like to go with that first, then armor, I would say. Um, but you guys are good here for right now. And I think for right now, there's nothing else there. Alright, now hopefully, Archeon, do you have enough movement to get here? Uh, you barely do. Just barely can get over here. So we can have you start sieging the plains of Dan Zambijan. This should not be bad. Just a shit ton of Nurglings. They do have a garrison. Um, you do have some spells. What spells do you have access to? You have... So you just have the spew one, the breath one. That's not that bad. So, let's push on in here. Get rid of these guys. And then we can start making our way down south next. Right now... I can see Kolik. Kolik is on the map. I can now see him. I now know where he is. So now we can start trying to make my way over. Hopefully, um, I'm hoping we can maybe get enough experience before we get to him that I can turn some of my Marauders into more Chaos Warriors. Or um, I need to turn more people into anti-large variants of their units. Because I know with Kolik, Archeon probably can't box him just yet on his own so we'll probably have to have it so that we rely a bit more on my infantry so we will want to try and boost them up and make sure they're greater weapon variants of themselves because otherwise i i could see cole like actually kicking arcan's ass right now absolutely i do have my hero which does help um and i just can't remember what he starts out with with his main army so let's have it so for here i think These towers shouldn't be able to hit me. This one's close to a point, though, though. So, we'll focus over here. I can at least have the Hell Cannon try and get rid of the towers. So we can have you kind of angle here. Try and see if you can maybe destroy the towers. I don't know how quickly it will go down, but we can have you do that. Archeon and my cat, my uh, hero, you guys are going to be making your way forward. I'll have you first try and get your forces um, to break down the gates. Marauders, again, just take the walls. Take the walls. Chaos Warriors will then support you afterwards, but just go about here. And then my Chaos Warriors group up. All Cav. You guys have Vanguard deployment. I'm actually kind of tempted to have you guys try and push on in and hit one of the gates. Start trying to just kind of like flank around and go hit spots. Like, honestly, I can put you like right here. Honestly. I can put you right here. Break down the gates. Rush on in. Actually, if we're going to do that, let's do it like really far away. So over here. So you guys just rush straight on in. And then my calf here, you guys, I think, kind of just chill in the back. And I'll probably have to see you guys will make your way on in later. But I'll start the battle. Archeon and everybody, let's get you guys start going for the walls. Chaos Warriors form on up two. And then uh, these guys, they have nobody at this gate. So yeah, break down the gates there, perfectly fine. And then you, let's see how much damage you can actually do to the towers, if it's going to even matter. It might not. You guys might not be able to do enough to make it actually worth it. And then these Chaos Knights, I would probably say, you guys try and break this gate down. Because as long as that tower doesn't shoot you, and I can get you guys over to this gate, I can have you guys be able to try and help flank about a little bit, as all my men are making their way forward. Archeon's taking some shots from the towers. They're not actually shooting my Marauders a ton just yet right now. Don't like that. 
Archeon though is almost to the gate though. Once he's to the gate, he'll be able to easily start kind of securing it for himself. Onto the walls! I do love how this is uh, this little section here is actually the where the Marauders of Nurgle are making their way up to deal with the Plague Fathers, Baba Nurgle's uh, servants. Got the Slanesh ones over here. You guys are making your way through the gates. How are we doing over here? You guys have broken down that gate. Let's see. I can now have you guys. Uh, just go straight for the final point, honestly. Go for the straight final point, uh, way back here, try and have you guys try and capture that. Because you guys are pretty fast. If you guys can get back there, that'd be perfect. Archeon, let's see you guys have broken down the gates. Perfect. Let's have you go push on in. Let's see, so you, both of you are, well, the hero is mounted, so he can't go up on the walls. Archeon isn't mounted yet, so he can actually deal with some of the, uh, the plague bearers. You can try and focus on them. Uh, Chaos Warriors, some of you have taken a lot of damage. I do not like that. Let's try and get you guys up onto the walls here. We don't have RK on. Um, you will get on the walls, help against the Plague Bearers. You guys are just trying to go to points, because if you can just capture this point, um, it will obviously start ticking up in my favor. So you guys, has it been even worth it to shoot this tower? Uh, you've used almost half your ammo to destroy about one tower almost. Not the best, honestly. Could be better. Okay, final point is now under our control. So you guys, I'll probably have you try and see if you can uh, go deal with some of the other Nurglings around here. Start trying to just kill some stuff around here to make sure you capture the point and they don't take it back. Just a matter of time now before they are able to capture the city. So in the meantime, Archeon and everybody, let's just have you guys keep duking it out with their forces on the walls to distract them. I don't know where their uh, lord is currently. He was somewhere around here. I know right now, um, you guys are fighting some Nurglings, but those are just Nurglings, so you're about to capture this point uh, without too much resistance. You guys are kind of struggling a little bit on the walls, but that's what you guys are here for, to be fodder and to prove yourselves. Just capture that point, I keep focusing on those Nurglings, then I'll have you guys kind of go somewhere else. Uh, the Lord is actually making his way over here, so he's trying to get over here to prevent me from killing the Nurglings. So at the moment, I'll pull you guys back um, soon. Because I don't want you guys to be fighting him at all. You'll get slaughtered there. But you guys have taken those ones out, almost. Same here. And we're already about halfway up this point. Alright, they're able to take back the main point, but I now have the secondary point under my control. So it's just a matter of time until we take the point. Uh, the city, I know I have Archeon and my heroes trying to get on over here to help out with the Plague Bearers. We also have, at the moment, some Nurglings that I'm dealing with with my Marauders and Chaos Warriors. Trying to reclaim this point as we lose it uh, when they brought some men back. I mean, Lord, yeah, here he is. He's just chilling in the back now. Just chilling. Ringing the bell. Ringing Grandfather's bell. Doesn't really matter too much, though, because slowly but surely this is ticking up in my favor. I'm going to probably bring it so that Archeon. Um, I can ignore the Lord for this part. Because at the moment, I'm just having to so see you guys are trying to focus on these Nurglings. Keep killing them. You guys are taking forever to be able to kill these guys. I, it's fine and it's sad that my Warhounds are so bad against Nurglings. Oh, so bad. And there we go. We have now won the city. Pyrrhic victory. Uh, although, with how crappy some of my units are, not surprised by that. I think it's okay. Archeon didn't take all that much damage himself. Chaos Warriors took a little bit of damage because of the towers, but I think you guys are a okay. Good amount of damage, though, here. You guys got a lot of kills with that one Plague Bear. Really good amount of damage there. But, I now have another Dark Fortress other under my command, and now we're going to be having it so that we're going to take our time to recover a little bit, and then keep making our way towards, and I'm really hoping, I want to see if I can hit Kolek while he's weakened because of something. That's my hope. Because right now, I want to see if we can maybe confederate at least him in this first video. I would love that, like, for the first couple of videos, we just get like, hey, here's this person being confederated, here's this person being confederated, and then by about, it'd be, like, episode 9 or 10, um, is when we'd be, okay, all these lords are confederated, now is the time to start conquering everything. So this area, I want myself, because this is a dark citadel, so I want this for myself. And then, you have a path to glory, uh, possible. Let's look at that in a second. So, first and foremost, want to get the growth and then also the additional money. So, grab that first. Archeon, you've got to rank up. So, for you, keep getting the, um... I'm not getting, I'm not getting a whole lot of benefit from this besides the more souls for battles thing, but grab that. And then, I kind of do want to be able to have so we can upgrade that. But I think for right now, I don't give a shit about that one. I'll probably say, um, income from raiding. Income from raiding is not the worst. 
So grab that. So uh, first, let's look at your path to glory. So at the moment, um, I don't have enough. But also, I don't want you. I don't want to dedicate you to corn or to Nurgle. Everybody in Arcan's army is going to be undivided. So, so let's see. Boons of Chaos, chosen leader. Win a battle with three chosen units in your army, so we don't have that yet. End your turn with a friendly leader in less than 50 minus 50 control. Oh god, win five battles. Probably have that one soon. Okay, but for you at least, I would say... Okay, so... Because these aren't individual... Okay, so we can have one of them here, one from here. So we have the possible option of just gla Chaos Gladiator, giving him more melee attack and more damage, bonus versus infantry. Um, standard die ability, this just affects all units around him. Not a bad ability, that's not bad. Um, or Chaos Strategist. Um, the additional experience per turn by another 50. I don't think I'm going to go with that. I think it's fine to have the amount of experience per game. I think that's fine. I'm more privy to get the Chaos Commander one. The standard die ability is nice. I really do like that ability, so let's grab that and then get more training. That should be good then there. We've got this one scroll, which is fine. It's not the best, but it's something at least. Um, also, let me then merge uh, you guys together, and I can probably have you guys be replaced by a basic uh, one of Marauders, because again, I want to have it so we just keep everything undivided. I want everything undivided, and eventually this unit will be leaving. Although, actually, I'm going to rename you now. So you all shall henceforth be known as the Blood Wardens, and for as long as you live, I will keep you a lot. I will keep renaming these units um, to keep you around. Um, let's see, commandments available. So, what commandments do you want to do for us? Let's see. So, um, province control. Probably don't mind just doing just the more corruption adjacent. Yeah, just just start off with that. I'd say for right now. Uh, yes. Yeah, so what do you guys want to discuss? You guys at the moment are wanting a non-aggression pact? No. <laughs> Everybody will serve Archeon. There is no reason for me to ever grab a non-aggression pact with any factions. Literally never. I will make sure that everybody burns and is conquered. That's all that it's, it's either you are destroyed or a vassal under me. There is no in between. Has been issued, Ooh, actually, it's not a bad idea for me to try and go for my quest sooner rather than later. For while the potential Getting the Slayer of Kings right now, so that would help me um, fight against Kolek. Enemy forces. I kind of want to actually just try and do this sooner rather than later. I'm very tempted to do that. Um, are you guys actually vassalized by Kolek right now? You, dare? you have vassalized them. Okay. Because that would mean uh, otherwise right now. I have to just start going down south. Um, Archaon's oh, army. Yes. I don't want you to just sit around doing nothing. I want you to go over there and possibly take that. But also... Let's see. First and foremost, let me just try and see. Where so you guys have... Oh, yeah. We're going down this way. Fuck it. <laughs> um, I'm grabbing those aspiring champions. I'm just going to risk uh, Colex Wrath. I'm not fully set up just yet, but... I see some aspiring champions over there in Trolls, so I'm going to gladly try and put those into this army. I do want to try and do my quest, but I think I need to wait a little bit. Um, I'm probably going to merge some of you guys next turn, actually. Probably, yeah, because I definitely want that. I really want the aspiring champions. Aspiring champions and the Trolls would probably be not a bad thing to grab right now. Um, just to kind of help us get a little bit more power. Don't make a lot of money right now, but it's fine. So now we have the increased experience rates for Chaos Warriors now, too. Okay, so now, please tell me they didn't, uh... Oh, there's just more stuff, too. So, there's some more spawns, but that doesn't matter. So, Archeon, let's make our way forward. Keep walking on in. I don't care if I piss you off. Um, let's have it so, again, these guys merge. Um, uh, I would have preferred you did that differently, but okay. And I can't... Damn it, just to get rid of him. Get rid of you, and then I want, so... I want to grab the Aspiring Champions unit. I want you. And then I need also... I want to grab those trolls. Uh, ooh, there's... Oh, they're so expensive. <laughs> um, they cost a thousand. Let me get rid of you. Grant us another chance! Grab me. The, these are just basic Chaos Trolls. So grab that. 
and next turn I can grab one more of them. Research weight. Let's let's see. So magical attacks for chaos knights. Gladly, let's grab that. Uh, ooh, more movement range would be nice though too. I'm probably gonna get. Just upgrade cost for all units. The movement range, because we're going to need to be going so far all over the place, I do need to get that sooner rather than later. Um, because we're about to be fighting Kolek, some magic attacks for my Chaos Knights would be really nice. So let's go, go for that. Let's see. We have a decision here. A contest of champions. Let's see. So perhaps as a result of the change of magic nations or another in the great game. Um, let's see. So we can let them fight. Gives more experience rate for all characters six turns. Or we can uh, display your might. Uh, there's no difference. Oh, sorry, no. Character experience gain, unit experience gain. I would say character experience gain. So let's go with that first. It's more important to get Archeon boosted the fuck up. And then let's see. Yes, another one! So we have another aspiring champion. Uh, fuck you. You're, you're gone. Another aspiring champion here. I'll grab you instead of the troll. Because aspiring champions... Especially with the boost I can give you guys later on. You guys can be fucking menaces. <laughs> so, declare war. Hey, Kolek. It's your boy Archeon here. Ready to subjugate your ass. Let's get on in here. This should be pretty easy. Um, I want to have it so that we'll just slaughter these guys. Try and minimize our casualties. Because also, I now just want to be able to showcase that, hey, we now have aspiring champions. I think my endgame army, I want to have two to... F Actually, I think four. I should have four... Uh, aspiring champions in this army. I want to have four of the greater demons, but uh, about four chaos knights, and then let's see. Yeah, then we about the rest was to be chosen, and then we'd only we only have like one more hero that we're gonna have in here. They give me one more slot, so I'd probably be able to have like seven chosen and four of everybody else. I like that. I like that. But yeah, now now we have the aspiring champions. Ooh, I can't wait to give you guys, like, Barrier, and I think you guys can get Regen, too, at some point. I can't remember if you guys have that or not. But, what we can do now is Archeon and everybody group up. Chaos Warriors and my Marauders group up, and then have it so... Ideally, I'll have you guys just, like, in the back, but the Aspiring Champions on the sides just start, like, flanking things. So, you guys can go there. Uh, all of my guys with Vanguard deployment, kind of just off to the side, doesn't really matter too much. Chaos Knights, and then my Trolls. Trolls, I never want Trolls in my army, but for right now, we, uh, we got some Trolls. So you guys right there, and Chaos Knights on the left side. So, start deployment, start the battle, and then let's have you guys kind of start moving on forward. Oh, actually, you can stop that. You, I actually want to have shoot things, so shoot things, get some more explosive damage as you're making your way on forward. I just love the fact that my war host is starting to get rather nice and beefy. Hopefully, we don't have too many issues against Kolek. That's my one concern, is I don't remember what he has in his army um, uh, at the start. I could see it being a bit of a problem for us, possibly, that it might be uh, pretty strong, depending on what he has. Uh, you guys are supposed to actually form forward. There we go. Hold your formation. Uh, you guys, you can get the initial charge. You guys off to the side. And I'll have it so they can use their ability to get some more charge bonuses as they kind of flank around. These guys do have spears, so they can actually do some good damage. Let's see that. And then charge on it. Archeon, do some casting. You guys make your way over here and deal with that Marauder unit, please. Oh, their poor Cav tried to go for the Blood Wardens. Oh, how dare you? How dare you? And they're all already running. Besides this one unit right here. Basically, this is the only guy that's still holding for the most part. So once he dies, there we go. Victory complete. As we shot my own dudes at the very end there. Fuck yeah. That's exactly what I want to see. Okay, so there we go. First city taken from the vassals of Kolek. Um, now we can have it so that I'm, I'm hoping to lure him out of his city. Kolek, I cannot fight in a Black Citadel. He will fuck me up so badly if he does that. So ideally what we need to do is lure him out of the settlement first. Try and have it so that we can get him out in the open field. And we need to keep trying to get as much experience as possible before we hit him. Because I know right now I need to be ranked 5 
before I can get you guys to be upgraded to uh, Chaos Warriors. I will probably at least... Um, I don't think you lose your experience. I'll have to double check this. I don't think you lose experience if I have you switch to a different variant. Because I want you to switch over to the Halberd variants. Because we're going to be going up against Kolek. Uh, this area here... Um, yeah, do the sack. And then I was right next to it so I can occupy it immediately. This area eventually... I'll, oh, this one actually has a material. Yeah, no, I will want to occupy this then myself. Because this gives us marble. Which gives me... Um, Reduce construction costs. That's eh, not not exactly what I need right now, but that's okay. I do repair that there, and then Archeon's got to rank up. So let's give you um, unholy resistance, resilience, so you can replenish a little bit faster. Hero. Oh, let's see. So magical attacks, weapon strength, um, ruinous leadership, or I don't know how important it is to have undivided authority, honestly. Because so it can be up to ten. So increases repl replenishment for them, upkeep for undivided units, warband upgrade cost for undivided units. Okay, so that's just, that's just the passive bonus there. Um, is there ever a research rate to increase that? Um, there is. There is a search one. So um, we want to look at undivided. So demonic pack. Gives maximum active gifts for chaos. Uh, plus one authority for all armies. Plus one authority for all armies. So I can get at least two. I can get two from research. Yeah, so I can get up to plus two for research. That's not bad. Okay. So because of that then, that'd give me up to seven. I do want that to be at ten. Because that gives us... Reduce your recruitment cost, reduce upkeep, and a more replenishment rate for these units. I just don't know if I need to have you grab that. Oh no, you can get it from this stuff. So you can get up to plus three from that. Arcan already has plus three, but he can get up to plus four. And I already have another hero that I'm going to grab eventually. That'll give me another plus three. I think it's safe to say I can grab the Ruinous Wrath. So grab Ruinous Wrath. Ruinous Wrath. That should be fine. And then I'll be able to slowly get this up to 10 eventually. Okay, so now I, I did forget to check. So what I want to double check was, let's go back over to the Warband upgrades. So I want to say you. So do you lose your XP if I do that? Doesn't look like it. It just costs money. So I think if I upgrade you there... You know, you're fine. Okay, so perfect. So yeah, upgrade you guys over to the Halberd variant because we need some anti-large for you guys. Yeah, because I'll definitely need to have some anti-large for you guys there. So grab that. Um, I can also switch you guys over to the Great Weapon variant. But I don't think I'm going to spend the money to do that right now. I think that's fine. You still don't have the money to get the upgrades I want. And then let's keep making our way forward. And also, do we actually need movement to go into Radiant Stance? We do need a certain amount of our movement to go into Radiant Stance. Okay, but next turn, we'll at least push on into you guys. Ooh, there's some Dragon Ogre Shagos in that area. I am very tempted to have those like replace one of the Chaos Warhounds because that's in this region here. How much do they cost? Twenty one hundred. Um, is there any cash I can get from Quick Deals? Like, you guys here, I can get a non-aggression pact with you guys, I guess. Like, I just want money from you guys. Don't don't take the military access, but just like, I want money. I can get twelve hundred for that. What if I don't have the non-aggression pact? I might just go with the trade. And get a little bit of money. I'll make a little bit more from the turn, too. Um, get military access with you guys. Uh, actually, you know what I should just try and do? Hey, my vassals. Can I have some money? Let's see. So, um, payments. Demand payment. I can't demand anything for right now. Okay. I was hoping I could maybe demand some payment. To just have them give me some more cash. But sadly, I can't do that right now, at least. Wow, it looks like Boris is doing some shit. He just killed the bloody sword. Okay, so Archeon here. We do actually have a mission here. What's this one? So it's, um... Glory for corn. Um, defeat the following army, and I will get some money. Gladly. Also gives me more leadership for all my armies. So yeah, let's push on in here. Kill you guys. 
I can probably have it so I do the auto resolve in this instance also. I'm gonna give you guys more leadership to my hero there, so see how much damage it does. A lot of damage to the hounds, which that's eh, fine I guess. Um, this area we were right next to it, so just sack it, and then I will occupy it afterwards. I'll have to give this over to somebody eventually. I can't give it over to my allies right now, and I can't remember if I take the challenge stone. Will I actually give that back, or actually like spawn these guys back? I don't know. I hope it would. Um, but let's have you just repair that for now. Then we need to get the one that gives the marble camp. Grab that, and then we have some more rank ups right now for Archeon. Let's have you grab, let's see, so, yeah, more replenishment and the reduced uh, attrition. Grab that. And then it my travels. hero here, um, but I'd probably say let's go to the, just get the uh, hard to hit for right now. And then next turn, I think we have enough movement. Uh, no, not exactly. But there is no, ooh, there is no military presence there right now. That means Kolek is not in the city. So, we should be able to just walk on in, take the challenge stone. Ah, uh, hi. Yeah, fuck, it, fuck you. I don't care. Declare war on me all you want. That's fine. We shouldn't have to worry too much. As soon as... Actually, what I'll probably do, because again, I need to keep my warpath going to the east. As soon as I confederate... Um, actually, I think I might not have to... But no. I want Kolex trade. Technically, the uh, ability to forcibly vassalize them is taking their last settlement. I don't want to take... I, 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 I could confederate immediately, but then I wouldn't be able to get his trait. Uh, I think his trait is only bonus versus large, if I remember correctly, so it's not the worst trait to not get. But, like, let's first and foremost, at least, let's make our way up. We're gonna start raiding the region to get some more cash. And then try and just see... Now there's a random army there. Just a random army there. Um, let's see. What the hell do I want to grid around here? Because I'll probably keep this thing. I could just get the better uh, camp for some more troops around there. Otherwise, uh, all armies in adjacent regions, and I can have it so more magic dra drop chance in adjacent regions. Um. Oh, actually, unlocks recruitment of uh, hero uh, sorcerers if I can get that research. Yeah, grab that then. Grab that there, I'd say. Then we'll be able to have it so we can actually uh, get the sorcerers populated around here. Research now. So, I would say... I want the movement range. Movement range first, then this. Then I probably... So, this is where I can start getting some of the abilities for you guys. So, I can get Muta Psychology, Strider. Um, this one gives Poison. And then um, this one gives Frenzy. This one gives me Barrier. And I could have sworn, yeah, there's even stronger ones back here. Um, they can get so many abilities. I fucking love it. So, yeah, there's the regeneration. So that's the one that gives them regen, which I do want to probably get at some point. But first I'm going to say this, this. And then I might go down this area. I need to get... Yeah, I need to get three of the research things in here. But maddening gifts. Uh... Wouldn't be the worst to go down there, but for now at least get the uh, the movement range. Okay, here they come. So Kolek is going to be attacking me. At least this is not the worst way this could go about. Hopefully, we can actually make it so we defeat this first army really quickly. Then we can get prepared to camp them on the side of the map. He does have some Dragon Ogre Shagoths, but I'm glad I was able to at least get the my Chaos Warriors to be Halberd variants. So we do have some pretty good anti-large, which that's pretty nice for us. This initial first army is not that crazy. Hopefully, we'll be able to kill it quickly. Because, yeah, the Warhounds are pretty bad. The um, spawns will be unbreakable. The trolls have pretty bad morale. The Lord is the only one that might be able to do something. I will most certainly have to make sure that my cannon focuses down Kolek hard. Because as long as we can do that and have it so you guys focus down Kolek... This shouldn't be that bad. So let's have you guys go there, and have my Chaos Warriors behind you, Aspiring Champions, and you're there, and there, and then I'll have it so, again, guys with Vanguard deployment, he's got a minute and 48 seconds, let's put you guys over here to be able to flank immediately, and then, um, again, yeah, everybody carrying guard mode off, cannon, try and get a little bit closer, I'll actually give you a fire wheel off initially, and then my trolls over here, just kind of off to the side randomly, but to start to plummet, start the battle, and then everybody make your way forward. Because we need to try and hit this army as soon as possible. 
So he is going to be able to get onto the map before I can get in position. Which is not exactly what I want, but it's what we're going to have to deal with, sadly. But my men are almost in position right here. I'm basically going to be trying to have it, so we'll kind of hold up a little bit. As soon as I see Kolek, I need to start shooting him. So you need to be start, uh, shot at by my cannon. Start unloading on him as soon as possible. I'm going to wait. I'm actually going to be a bit more reactive. So I'll wait until he attacks me, and then we'll respond in kind. So because we want to make sure that we're taking advantage of the fact that I have, overall, I would say better troops. Uh, I just need you to not miss Kolek, please. They do have some flyers there. Get you guys over here. Turn up out against the Warhounds. Those Warhounds should do really poorly there. You guys are now starting to try and make your way over. Let's say if you hit the Marauder Horsemen, you guys go for the Hounds. Go there. Archeon, if you can get in range of him, make sure you cast spells onto Kolek himself. He's going to be a big priority for us. Let's get in here and help out against these guys. Oh, those are Chaos Trolls. Those are Chaos Trolls. That is not what I want. Okay, so you guys go over here. Help with the Chaos Trolls. Okay, you guys pull back there. Okay, here's Kolek. I'm going to be spamming magic onto you. And you have it so, uh, you three, your job, go fight Kolek. You have the anti-large. You need to focus on him if you can. Let's have you guys try and help out around here, I guess. Try and have you guys specifically help out against the Chaos Trolls. Uh, can you get a little bit closer? If you can get a little bit closer, can I have you give the uh, boost to them? There we go. Okay, boost them all there. Archeon 2. You guys need to focus on Kolek. And then I need to have it so... Oh, they have their own uh, artillery piece too. Well, you guys right now are winning this fight. Let's have you go get out of there, get away from the trolls. Go focus on their Hell Cannon. You guys aren't fighting anything, so get in there and help out against the Dragon Ogre Shagoths. Some of my Marauders are breaking. That's kind of to be expected, though. But yeah, focus down Kolek. As soon as Kolek is dead, this will be a lot... No, fuck. That's... Not what I meant to do, but that's fine. Uh, cast some other spells on top of those Dragon Ogres, I would say. Let's weaken you guys there. And then... Feral Manticore next. Actually, no, get rid of the spawn. Kolek is losing. He is slowly taking damage here. If you can get rid of him, I, we have this battle, I think, in the bag. Okay, their cannon is now just about dead. Trolls are coming back here. Let's have you help out against the spawn. As an have you guys be boosted by Archeon and everybody right now. Spiron champions are holding well. I do need to give some support over to the... Uh, oh, those, uh, that's a Regiment of Renown one. Fuck. I might lose my Aspiring Champions early on. I can at least get more of them, so it's not the worst thing if that does happen. Oh, Kolik is broken. Kolik is fucking broken. Yes. Okay, keep hitting him with the spells, and we need to make sure we take him out. Do not let him get away. Do not let him get away. Uh, you guys, turn your attention over here. Focus on the uh, Lord now there. You guys, I guess, try and finish off that Chaos Troll right there. He's almost dead. You guys get back and help out. Probably say help out over there. You're trying to finish off that thing there. Cole, run him off the map at least. At least run him off the map. Do not let him get his morale back. Okay, some of my guys are starting to break. I've almost pushed uh, Kolek off the map now, though. You guys here are winning this fight. Archeon and everybody are now bringing your forces on in to help out around here for the Dragon Ogres. Get on there. Knights, you're going to start trying to just focus down the little stragglers, I would say. Archeon, I need you to keep debuffing these units around here and cast spells on top of them. Uh, primarily, I would say, yeah, the... Well, how about with the Forsaken, maybe? No, try and hit the Lord. Try and kill him. Kolak, get off the fucking map, man. <laughs> Take a fucking hint and just get off the map. Because my trolls can keep pushing him back. There we go. He's running for his life now. That's what I want to see. Archeon and everybody. Yeah, focus on the Dragon Ogres. They're the top priority at this point in time. Because now that Kolak is off the map, they are the biggest threats to us now at this point. These Chaos Warriors aren't fighting something. Uh, get over here if you can. Try and get over here and flank these guys. Some aspiring champions are coming back. Let's try and group you guys up. And uh, try and go over. Try and save my cannon if you can. I don't know if we'd be able to. Um, I do have enough range to go hit over there, though. So, oh, do you not? Yeah, you do have enough range. Go hit that unit there if you can with that spell. Come on, don't dodge it. Please don't dodge it. 
Although, honestly, this is a really risky play, but I think it'll be completely worth it even if I lose some of these units. Because for the most part, me being able to defeat Cole like this early on and make sure that I am going to be able to confederate him right after this, I think is perfect. This is far closer than I'd like it to be, though. This Lord is almost dead. And I think besides the units that have Unbreakable, for the most part, a lot of the other units have now given up. Trying to get my cab just keep running away. You guys need to get your barrier back. Those guys have all now broken. I think it's just, yeah, the Unbreakable guys. No, I think that's it. I think that's it. Fuck yeah. I don't see anybody else. No, there's, there's the, uh, the spawn. Spawn's the last bit. Uh, you actually don't fight them. I want you to stay alive. I want to keep this aspiring champion alive. Terrified. Yeah, no, you should be okay. Perfect. So we're able to defeat Kolek. I think I lost a good chunk of my army. But the units that mattered most should have survived. Pyrrhic victory. That's kind of what we were expecting there. But Kolek is now going to be... I think actually I only lost my kin. I think that's all I lost there. I don't think I got any replenishment, but they lost a good chunk of their army. And ideally, if I push them away from their city, and I can just walk on in and take the city, now is the perfect time to confederate them. As soon as I've beaten them back, weakened them. And also, I can grab some new units. I can replace some of my uh, Marauder units. I don't want to merge them because they have a bit of experience, but... I need something to fill up these armies. I really do. Because I now need to properly try and focus on now confederating uh, Kolek here. So we just need to take his city. I did loot. Yep, lost only my cannon. Took only my cannon out. So let's have you get the replenishment there. Kolek's still alive. Barely. But pretty much everything else is destroyed. He's now in his settlement. But I can lure him out of it. This would be a tough fight. But if we can win that fight... Kolek will be under my command. Uh, no. I don't want another Christian pact with you. It's not worth the money, I'd say. I can actually maybe get more from you if I actually ask. I do not like that I'm not going to get replenishment. Actually, do I get replenishment as Chaos Warriors when I'm raiding? Oh, another, another quest pop up. Get another one of my quests. Mission issued. Eliminate the Falling Lord. Uh, just a... Uh, not a one that matters, actually. But, you know, uh, bonus versus large now for Archon. Plus 20. So, I got you there. You there. And the force is inside. It's not bad. I get a tiny bit of replenishment. Okay. Now, what do we have from around here? So, I could grab another Dragon Ogre unit. I could grab another Chaos Troll. Um, you can be turned into a Chaos Warrior. Yes. So I can grab you, it can turn you into a chaos warrior. So first and foremost, let's actually have it so... Um... You're not done with your blue line yet, but... Oh, that's because I have a shit ton of XP. Oh god. I didn't realize I got so much XP. So I can get this, uh... So you can grab that. Just cost. Um... This is for Chosen and Chaos Warrior Chosen. I don't have any Chosen in my army just yet, so that wouldn't actually be much benefit. This would... They'd give them more weapon strength. Um, so that. Actually. I would like to get lightning strike. I do think I should grab this, this. To hold off on that right now, because I don't have any chosen right now, so that's not benefit. Actually. Actually. You are rank 5. Do I have the stuff? No, I can't make you chosen just yet. I don't have the research to make you chosen just yet, sadly. Damn it, that'd be great, though. Turning you guys into chosen right now. But no, I can't do that just yet. I know I'm gonna... Okay, I'm at least putting one point here. Because I want to make sure that there's an increased time for the battle reinforcement stuff. Um, Because I'm gonna at least need one point there for sure. Grab this. And then the... I'd probably say the best thing to get right now is the Knights. This would reduce upkeep on all of you guys. It only affects the Chaos Warriors and not the... It does reduce the upgrade cost, though. Um, grab the Knight stuff. Because this makes it so that all of my Knights have more weapon strength. That's nice. My hero here. You've got two points. 
Let's make you stronger, some more melee defense, and I guess I could get more training, but I want to hold off on that. Thick skinned, and then. So at the moment, I'm grabbing a dragon. Oh, he does have bonus versus large, so definitely a great thing to put against uh, Kolek. Grab that, and then I also had a possibility of one more troll, which I don't think is a bad idea. So we can grab. Let's merge like you two. Merge those guys together. Get me another troll. And then... Ooh, I have a Richmond Renown actually available. Um, and some Aspiring Champions one. Um, actually... Well, I can't get my Regiment of Renown right now. Well, actually... No, I have to be in my own territory for that. I was about to say... I know I'm going to want to put that in there. Um, okay. I think that's the best I can do for right now. Although, well, I'll probably just have it sleek. You two merge. Give me another Marauder. I can then have it so... Oh, I can get so many of them. Oh, that's the armor of Morkor. That's what the thing is over there. I think that's it. Yeah, I think we're going to go with this. I think we're going to go with this army right here. I'm going to have this be the last thing we do for today. I know this is a little bit longer than my normal videos. Um, actually, I could... You know what? Actually... I lose units I don't care about. I am going to take that. I will honestly take that fight right there. Because that means my aspiring champions survive. I don't care about you. Give me the replenishment. And then I can walk on in. And uh, confederate Kolik. So uh, enforce confederation bitch. There we go. That's what I want to see. So we've now been able to confederate the heralds of the tempest. So now Kolek, he's wounded, but hey, he is now joined off action. He will be back in five turns, but I think this is probably going to be a pretty good place to end this video for today. With us confederating Kolek, we are now one step closer to being able to start uh, making our final endgame uh, invasion of everything, basically. Uh, Archaon will keep making his way over to the east so we can get Village. I will have Kolek, I would say, make your way back here, and maybe you can go deal with Boris for me. Why the fuck not? Because that's not a bad thing to do, I think. Um, I'll have it so that we can do that with you. But I think for right now, it's probably going to be a pretty good place to end this video for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing what you guys have to say about this campaign. Any other thoughts you have on it in general. But this is Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time.